it's down to this, whether or not four drivers will advance or four drivers will go home. It's the final race of the Eliminator 8. Four drivers will advance their championship four in Homestead, and four drivers will go home and have to wait until next season. Welcome to Phoenix International Raceway in Avondale, Arizona. For today's coverage of nationwide racing from Phoenix, here on NBC NASCAR. Harnett, I don't think we've seen a much more amped up chase as, as we have this week. No, for four drivers, they're going to go home. Four drivers are going to be celebrating. Four drivers are going to be celebrating in disappointment here today. So, um, we, I, I'm here just to watch this. I have a driver that's in the, not going to make the not going not going to make the final four because I feel confident about that. But um, I'm here to go to see some great racing here today at Phoenix. Well, we'll we will get to our our point here in just a second. I want to talk about Phoenix here. Um, past seasons, uh, if if you go if you leave Phoenix with a with a good day and you're up there on the point, chances are you'll have a shot at winning the championship at home. So but now with the uh, elimination bracket style chase format we have here, it's just gonna ramp up, especially for the the chasers that are uh, in danger of of uh, losing their their chances of. Moving on into Homestead, Harnett, you've been in this uh, situation before. What? Uh -huh. What? Mm -hmm. What do uh, the drivers that are in the red have to do to secure a spot in the championship? Simple. Win. Win in your win. The next round. That's well, all you have to do is win or score enough points to make it. Well, let's take a look at the drivers that are in the red at the stand right now. Billy Gordon is in the red. Eight points. Levi Jones also in the red. Alex Cox and Lone and Rock are in the red. On the bubble of Elba Longley in that final chase position in the fourth. Uh, most of the Silva are the up. They are uh, in green right now. They don't got to worry about the single or they have that danger. But, 16 left. Change it all. Right back with the grid and the green right after this. And welcome back to Phoenix International Raceway coverage of Nationwide Racing here from Phoenix here on NBC NASCAR. All right, it all comes down, it, it all comes down to this, Harnett. Four are going home and four are going to Homestead. Bobby Frazier, Brianna Maxwell, William Brock, our highest starting chaser, all the way down to Cooper Hammond in 10th, and our and our lowest starting chaser is Lily Gordon. Chances are she is going to be eliminated here at Phoenix. But a lot can happen here in the Jewel of the Desert. All right. It's time for our picks. Picks presented by Nationwide. Nationwide is on your side. Harnett, who's, who's, uh, we're doing two picks. Who's going to win the race and who's going to move on into the championship four? Well, I wish I could. I wish I could choose the pace car who's going to win the race, but I like to go with, um, who, what's his face name? Um, his face is named Brianna Maxwell. I like her, and, uh, let's see her going to victory lane today. Who I think is going to make the chase is, let me look through down the field here. We're going to look, go with Levi Shones. I like Levi Shones making it. Even though he's showing something to points, I think he's going to make the next round. Well, I got, let's see. Someone who has yet to, to visit Victory Lane here. I'm going to go with the 28th, Tommy Turbo, winning the race. But I also got Rose Luciano da Silva making it into the championship four at Homestead, Miami. But let's break down the championship four scenario. You can get in on points. You can get in with a win. But... There is a new format for winning the championship, and we'll and we'll get to that later on in the race. Let's grid them up and let's set them loose here for 16 laps here at Phoenix Hartnett. You are no you are no stranger to this track. No, I'm not a stranger. Phoenix, I live I live a little while from Phoenix, so like two to three hours from Phoenix, and um, it's a great racetrack here. A lot of cactuses, a lot of drivers here, so I'm looking forward to calling the race at one of my tracks. 
Well, they're into the dog leg that will disappear after this season. They will uh, reconfigure and resurface this track in time for next season when we come back here for our final for our final season of nationwide competition. Bobby Fraser still up there in the rookie of the year standings, currently third after the race at Texas. But here we go. Four drivers will make it and four will not. They're coming off turn four and here we go. We are now green. Boogie boogie boogie, let's go racing boys and girls. I butchered out there in Bobby Fraser gets a gets a good jump as they race down the back stretch into the dog leg. You're gonna be one in the inside line going into these corners here and into Dolly so nobody can get a run on in, you know, into three. See they're starting to drift up just a little bit of the racetrack. Frazier going to the middle lane as they go out of turn four. And Bobby Fraser will lead lap one. Credit him with five bonus points towards his rookie of the year standing uh, rookie of the year hunt. Looking over the field here over uh, over our, our backstretch camera. Look at William Brock there in the tent. He's trying to make something happen here. And to try to make his cha championship hopes to Homestead, Miami next week. Something unique about this track, Harden, and we just saw it there. They came off turn number four. Rattlesnake Hill. A lot of fans actually camp out on the top of that hill. And they don't call it Rattlesnake Hill for nothing. No. There's actually rattlesnakes there, and you pay a whopping expensive fee of $35 just to sit on Rattlesnake Hill over here, just to watch the race over here. But, yeah, you get to see the whole racetrack and everything. You can sit next to the chair, you get to see the trophy up there too, for the Nationwide Series. Yeah, uh, during the pre-race we had our trophy up there, uh, looking over the racetrack here. It's a very unique hill, but uh, it can come at a cost. But that's not why we're here. Brianna Maxwell, your pick hard in second. William Brock, our highest chaser so far. Levi Schoen, who has to have a good day here in order to uh, keep his dream alive of becoming champion in his rookie season of the, uh, of uh, here in NASCAR. Uh, 66 of uh, Paul Minnick. Maldonado got eliminated at Talladega. And here we have some pretty good battles here. Rose Feliciano de Silva and Cooper Hammond. Uh, Candy Rocks and Tommy Turbo and Fitzwater and your Daytona champion Steel Chaser, Alex Hawkins. Well, it's a good race so far, but I don't know what's going to happen. But, um, woo. It's going to be intense. There's Elba Wanderley. Uh, fourth in the points. He has that uh, final, final spot. Uh, should she advance into the championship four? Got a little bit of three Y going on over here. They settle it back down to two. Uh huh. Yes, indeed. Here, and I'm pretty excited here. But um, uh, it's going to be excited here. One more Levi shown as they work their way to turn number three. Here we go. Three, three, four. Look at that William Brock trying to fight on the outside line. Yeah, look, Brock is not giving an inch on, on, on that outside. Now he has to give in to Levi Jones. Here we go through three and four. And now uh, let's see what we can do here. It's going to be very interesting what happens here. Brianna Maxwell giving a, a, a mirror full to uh, Bobby Frazier there in the 43. Maxwell eliminated from the chase early on in in the in the early Season. stages of this stay uh, of this uh, of this chase got eliminated in round two. Unfortunate for her, but it's um but oh, four more drivers going to get eliminated this season. But um, it's going to be intense here, you guys. In these last few, final few here. And we're down to the final seven laps here. And uh, we encourage you to stay tuned for the post-race show. We will take a look on who's in and who's out as we get ready to wrap up the season. Yes, it's going to be a, it's going to be 
It's gonna be a wild event at uh, what you call it, Homestead next weekend. It's going to be wild, and, and, and I want to bring back a, a topic that I said earlier in the pre-race uh, regarding the points coming into Homestead. Points don't matter in the championship four. We will break down that scenario even further when we get to Homestead, but as far as, 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 far as points, that gets tossed out the window following this race. Oh, yeah, it should be highest finisher. Who gets the highest finisher? Yep, uh, the, the highest finishing chaser among the four will be crowned the champion of the season and will go on into next season if they decide to return with a lot of momentum coming into Speed Weeks Season 11. For the final season of Descar. As we're coming here with four to go here, let's get a tight bout for the race lead here. Yeah, you can put three uh, three cars under a blanket here. Uh, Brianna Maxwell, Levi Jones, Hartnett. We sat down with Levi Jones. He needs a day like this. Oh yeah, he needs a day like this. But I don't know if he'll make it to the final four or not with this day. He needs to win this race practically. I don't know if he's going to lose. He's just it side by side. But Brianna Maxwell has two, uh, three more laps before she can three more laps before she she can pass the show Frazier possibly. Levi Shell is in the red and seventh in the points, but with this day, he might skyrocket into possibly the fourth spot, or maybe even third. Well, no, we'll find out what happens in this chase here. Uh, so, oh, Brianna Maxwell's trying to make something happen here, but I don't know if it's a little too late for that little 24 machine. Who ran so well at Charlotte. Two laps to go, and Bobby Frazier is leading the way here at Phoenix, led all the laps so far. Unfortunately, not in the chase. So he will advance into the championship four, but he will uh, end the season on a high note. Yeah, he will end the season on a high note. Possibly get that rookie of the year as we get the white flag. One lap to go. Bobby Fraser showing his muscle in that in that unsponsored number forty-three. Maybe he can do something. I don't know. Let's see if they, they can do anything on it. Here we go through three and four here. I mean, one, excuse me, down the back straightaway. Down to three and four. Here we go. Bobby Frazier looks like he's going to get his, this win of the season. Uh, turn over four. Bobby Frazier's going to win here today at Phoenix. Brianna Maxwell holds on for second. Levi Jones gets his best, hit, gets his best finish of the chase in third. Wow. And... It looks like William Brock is going to secure a spot in the championship four at the stands right now, but we will hold off on any predictions of our final four until the post race coming up here in just a second. Let's take, let's take a look at our results. There you see Levi Jones, William Brock, our highest, uh, our highest finishing chasers, and uh, Keith Batson. No, Kelly Boston, Robert Piet, our low, our, our lowest, uh, our lowest finishing uh, drivers, RJ Bishop, Lily Gordon. I don't know, Harness. It's not looking good for Fire Ice Racing. And, and no, I don't, I don't think we're gonna make the final four, guys. I don't know. We'll have to wait. Stay tuned for the post race show, which is coming up right after this. If you're in the chase, or if, or if you're, or if you're on the bubble, we encourage you to stay tuned. For the post race here on NBC Dascar. And welcome back to NBC Dascar, the post race edition of Nationwide Racing here from Phoenix. The fans have filed out and those who are sticking with the chase are probably already are, are probably already on their way to Homestead before us, but we're not caring about that right now. All right, let's break down the race. It was a 16-lap event, no cautions. Uh, pretty quiet. If uh, uh, kind of out of the norm for Phoenix. Bobby Frazier ended up getting the win here today, but um, that's not why we're here. We're here to see who is the championship for going into Homestead to be season 10 champion of the Das Cure series. Well, we, we say goodbye to four drivers, but we also open the door to four drivers that are going on into Homestead, Miami, with a chance 
to be crowned champion for season number 10. But, hurting it, we start with your racing, Fire Ice Racing. Lily Gordon is, is unfortunately, eliminated from this chase, but much credit to her, hurting it. She has flexed her muscle all throughout the chase and said, hey, I want to get as far as I can. And she got pretty far. She got pretty far indeed. Uh, she'll be back next season, but not just a different number next season. But uh, We'll be unveiling that car next year, but I'm pretty excited to see what we can do next season and um, go on from there. Go for, win the Chelsea Championship next year. And 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 one driver that we that we talked to in the pre-race uh, uh, earlier today was uh, Levi Schoenz. And he said, we have to have a good day. He finished third. But is that enough to get him into the championship four? Yes. We will find out. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the moment that you that we've all been waiting for. Cue the intense music, and here we go. For the final time, going on into Homestead. R.J. Bishop, he's going on to, into Homestead. William Brock, he is in on the skin of his team. But literally, and I mean literally, hard, making it in on the skin of his teeth. Probably the skin of his toes. Getting in on just one point. Is Levi shown? This guy has zero wins in eight starts, only one top five and two top tens his whole entire chase, and he's always found himself advancing on points. Is this the luck of a draw, or is this the, 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 some kind of dream season that he's, that, that he's having? He's having a dream season right now. Well, I'll tell you what. If this guy goes on to win the championship, his dream season will be complete. He will be one of the, of the four that will battle it out for the championship next week at Homestead Miami. And we hope to see you at Homestead Miami. If not, Hope you will tune in to NBC for the Ford EcoBoost 300 at Homestead Miami. Hartnett, any final words before we sign off and leave Homestead? Well, congratulations everybody who made it to the Final Four. Congratulations to Bobby Frazier for getting his win this season. Well deserved ending his season on a somewhat high note. Well. We're supposed to our our, play, our, our our we we missed our flight, so we're at a walk to Homestead now. But um, thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys at Homestead Matter. Have an awesome day, guys. Well, let's recap one more time: Rose Feliciano da Silva, R.J. Bishop, William Brock, and Levi Jones. Those are our championship four going on into Homestead next week. We're not walking. We will be flying. For Evangel Hartnett, for uh, for all of us here at the at the Dash Car Nationwide Series celebrating 10 seasons, for all of for for all of our behind the scenes crew, I'm Jamie Fentor saying good night and goodbye from Phoenix. Our championship four is set. Until next time. So long. So everybody. long, everybody.